it, it was w w wonderful but interesting, you know. Mm -hmm. But as I say, I was, I was young and I, I, I didn't realise, you know, what the seriousness, seriousness of it was, where we were going, mm -hmm. if you know what I mean. Uh, to me, I was still going on a, a ride out in, <laughs> in the country until we, until we, we got in, and the, uh, unfortunately. The first time I went into action, we were like a cavalry regiment, you know, we, we, we weren't a tank regiment, but what each, each regiment had one squadron, they had three squadrons or four squadrons, but one squadron was tanks, but it was just three three tanks and there was the big Churchill tanks. Now that was A squadron, B, C and D, and they were armoured cars, except the last one was all assault troopers, and they they'd open topped, open ah, top yeah. cars they had. It was similar to brain carrier, wasn't it? Eh? Like the brain carrier. Oh, oh, oh we, we had Bren carriers. Oh, I, mm. uh, I, I was in a Bren carrier. I was a wireless operator in the yeah. Bren carrier. There was, there was me and another wireless operator. He, uh, he, 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 he was in touch with the other carriers in the troop. There were ten altogether, and but I was just in touch with. I, I was on the same as him in touch with them, but I had an extra station which the officer used for headquarters. You see, I had two you umpteen bands on your thing, and all I wanted to do, if I was working on this, telling them what to do, then he said, right, I want to call the HQ, I just went, and then I was on another wave band, and that was my HQ one. Then, then if I finished and wanted to be back on the lot, I just, Turn it back, you see. So you put the station on, then fastened it in, mm -hmm. you see, you know, and then uh, then took the screw out so you could you can move it when you want it, you see. So what happened in this first? Hey, act? what happened in this first action then? In the what? In this first act, in your first action, what happened? Oh right, right. Well, the as I said, we we be, been abroad. Uh, uh, oh, two or three weeks, and we were just going like out on patrol and we were way up and, and this particular day this and you know we have never been any problem this particular day we went and uh, and, and we were way up way up we could see over all the way around and hill, hills further up and we stopped at this place and it was like a a house a big house and like a courtyard, mm -hmm. right? And then at that side, there was at that side just miles from anywhere a little church. And then at this side, right at the edge, where where it was the house, and it was the uh, where the where the nuns lived. And apparently there was about uh, six nuns lived there, or maybe more, and and there was uh, servants there who looked after the nuns. Are you with me? And and uh, and you know, and I, I heard some of the lads who'd been before once said, "Oh, we're in the right bloody spot here," and they were looking at the hills. In other words, saying they could see us. We were on a hill, but they were higher. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. You right. see, and uh, they were higher than us. And anyway, so this this particular time, so this right, come on. Because when we went in, the 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 we we uh, we just saw the nuns as they walked, and they just bonjour and all. And that was it. They didn't talk to us, you know. They they just said good morning, and that was it. Near went anyway, and we went in, and then there was the civilians, and uh, there was a, a nun there. She was like second head nun, and uh, and the others were other ladies were civilian servants, and they were servants of the nuns. You see, the, these women, you know, and uh, 
my my mate, my mate and me, we 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 were uh, sat outside. This uh, this house was down there, and then there was a big a big open double door, and inside there was a on the wall a big what you call them a religious figure. Nice. And it was like a little chapel, if you understand what I mean. And it showed you the, what did they call them, Saint Mary or whatever it was. They have a name for the patron saint of something, you know. Anyway, and, and, and we, 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 we were all out there, and, and me and my mate, we, we were just stood. And all of a sudden, we just heard the whoosh, and then bang, yeah. My ears wrong, and he said, "Come on!" And we ran through this open door, and we finished up right down at far end of the room, just a bit longer than this, like through this door, and right where that back wall is, there was a big religious monument, and that's where the the uh, nuns used to come and pray, and where they were taught. You know, if they were there, like the classroom, they lived there, and and the uh, and the the people, Sibby looks after them, and and of course the, these nuns there, they, and we all ran, and, and what we did this passage we ran along it, and then we went down, and they are oh that was it, we, we were running down, and uh, there was all of a sudden a nun come round, and she did this, so we just changed direction, and she followed, we followed her. And we went down, and we were about six or seven foot below, below top in the end. And what a big area! And, and we were all in there at the end. And uh, uh, any, anyway, I just come back. Well, the, in our carrier there was the driver, and then the officer, and uh, and me, and the other operator, and. Uh, and I was like the second operator, I was just a lad. And uh, anyway, so I I come, and as we're all going down here, I saw the driver there. I saw the driver there. And I just said, are you all right, Nobby? He said, yeah. And I said, where's Gilly? And that was, his name was Gilchrist. And that was the other, he was the main operator. And he said, he's dead. And and that was it. But as I said, my head rung for days after that. Boom, boom. And you wicked easy stuff go while well, we were jamming. Me and this lad, his name was, was uh, Dennis, Dennis Flynn. We were big buddies, me and Dennis. We we trained together at Markham and we went abroad together. Uh, and then, But we got split up after, after we got over there, you know. We were in the same regiment but different squadron. You know, and as it happened, we came home together in the end, you know, at the same time. Right. He was a nice lad with Mick. We called him Mick, Mickey Finn, mm -hmm. and uh, his name was Dennis. Mm -hmm. But uh, that, that was my first, my first one. And then ever after that, I was never actually in touch with uh, firing rifles or anything like that. But we were always under uh, under enemy fire bombardment, yes. uh, 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 aerial or or, or mm. guns, you know. Oh, we were getting we called stonk. We were getting stonk every day, you know. And it, and, and they used to say it was just before dusk, wasn't it? They used to one they'd stay just before dusk. They used to have a. They go dum blum blum blum. You could, you could hear them going round. The Italians, see, the eh? Italians, then. Eh? Italian ones. Yes, yes. We used to be in London at Blitz, and you say, "Hello, Italians are coming tonight." <laughs> that's right. Well, well, that's where we were. Well, you see, see, 